Good morning, everyone. Pete Pardo here from Sea Tranquility. Welcome to another edition of Classic Album Rewind. Today, we're going to take a look at an album released November 1st, 1972, on the Bronze Island and Mercury labels, depending on where you live, produced by Jerry Braun and recorded in Lansdowne Studios, London, England. Of course, we're talking about Uriah Heep's fifth album, The Magician's Birthday. There you've got the Roger Dean artwork. Considered by many to be one of their greatest albums. Of course, it follows the uh, the really big album for them. Probably the one, the iconic album for you, right? Heap, Demons and Wizard. Of course, you know, Demons and Wizards has the other Roger Dean artwork. All right, another cover with, uh, he worked with them two albums in a row. Then, you know, did Sea of Light later on. So Roger's had some experience working with Heap over the years. But here we've got, uh, you know, the classic lineup of you, right? Heap. Mr. David Byron on vocals, Mr. Mick Box on guitars, Ken Hensley on keyboards, guitars, slide guitars, Moog synthesizer, you know, Hammond organ and Moog. You got Gary Thane on bass and Lee Kearslake on drums. Uh, you got uh, Brian Cole guesting on pedal steel guitar on uh, tails. So, um, you know, a little bit different than its predecessor. Uh, you know, the Demons and Wizard album, Demons and Wizards, keep forgetting there's wizards there, not just a wizard. Um, you know, pretty much a big heavy rocking album, right? That's definitely one of the heavier albums that, as well as Look at Yourself, and of course the very heavy, very humble album, very very heavy albums. Uh, you got the Salisbury album, which shows a lot of their prog rock side, and psych side, as well as the heavy rock. Here, I think the band uh, really dives deeper into progressive rock. Uh, there's elements of folk on here. There's a little bit of boogie on here as well. Uh, as you know, there is some heavy rock on here, but this album is um, not quite as bombastic as its predecessor. But it kicks things off uh, in grand fashion with sunrise. And a new day's breaking through. I mean, David Byron, vocalist, love him. He was so good. So good. Sunrise, again, that slow build of a track, the big Hammond organ and guitar riffs from Mick, you know, Mick and Ken, just the thunderous sound. Sunrise, classic, classic track. And then you got the track number two, which is more of a kind of like an upbeat rocker, kind of a boogie track, kind of Spider Woman. Spider Woman, da, 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 da. slide guitars all over the place. The bam, 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 bam. It's kind of like Southern Rockish, kind of fog hatty uh, type of thing. Uh, great track. And then you've got uh, the rest of side one is actually kind of mellow. You got the luscious, lush pastoral blind eye. Great vocal melodies on that. You know, the acoustic guitars out all over the place throughout a lot of this album. And you got, you know, Echoes in the Dark, another kind of uh, folky, psych, prog kind of track, right? And then the last track on side one is Rain, which of course is a vehicle for Hensley's piano and David Byron's vocals. Very gorgeous, gorgeous song. But again, you know, fairly mellow side one of this album for the most part. And then over on side two, it gets a little more raucous. You've got Sweet Lorraine, big upbeat rocker kind of boogie-ish a little bit band usually especially early in their career usually through one or two kind of tracks that would be classified as you know kind of rock and boogie that sort of thing uh sweet lorraine great chorus good guitar riffs right then you've got tails tails is kind of again that kind of folky spooky proggy thing you got the pedal steel going on the swirling vocals right just a really really cool track intoxicating track uh and then of course the big 10 minute plus minute title track the magician's birthday finishes off the album side two uh here's the big you know kind of the album starts with a big heavy moment in sunrise it kind of ends with a big heavy moment except with the Mag magician's birthday the band kind of takes you through uh, a nice journey you get you know the, the beginning of the song is kind of psychedelic kind of proggy and then right almost in the middle of the song you get and then all of a sudden Lee Cares Lake's drums and Mick Box's guitar solo. And these guys kind of trade off for like, what, two, three minutes at least, if not a little bit more than that. And Ken Hensley comes in with the organ. It's like this whole like kind of freak out thing for a while. Amazing ripping guitar from Mick Box on this. And Lee Cares like just thundering underneath him. Uh, kind of takes this whole track out and just 
big, heavy, bombastic fashion, lots of soloing. Uh, definitely for me, the highlight of the album. I think my favorite tracks on here are probably the title track, Sunrise, the bookend pieces. I like Sweet Real Rain, Spider Woman is Fun, uh, Blind Eye is absolutely gorgeous. Those are probably my favorite tracks. I, personally, I never held this one up as high as the two that came before it. As most of you know who have been following the channel, and I talk about Uri Heap all the time, uh, you know, Look at Yourself and Demons and Wizards is, uh, is basically my two favorite albums, but I love the debut. Um, I, I love Salisbury, um, and I do like this one quite a lot, but I generally don't regard this one quite as high, but it is a classic without a doubt. Uh, like I said, I know there's probably a lot of people watching who love this album. It might even be your favorite. So, But uh, this, for today, is our classic album, Rewind. Comes on the heels of this monster album, all right? But uh, is generally looked at as uh, another one of their best albums in their catalog. And it's definitely good. It's really different. What I love about these Uriah Heap albums, they've got a ton of them. They're all really different from each other. Right, there's none of them that sound exactly the same, and I kind of love them for it. So, uh, and that's the case with these two. They're both very different, and that's a good thing. Uh, but the classic album, doing some classic stuff. If you've never heard The Magician's Birthday, go check it out. Please report back what you think. Uh, if you are a Uriah Heap fan, well familiar, maybe you haven't listened to this album in a while, go play it again today. That's your assignment. Today's listening experience should be The Magician's Birthday by Uriah Heap. And then uh, let us know your thoughts in the comments below. So uh, thanks for watching this edition of Classic Album Rewind. We'll be back tomorrow and each and every day throughout the rest of the month. And we're going to kind of continue into July a little bit because i got a bunch I want to get to. And I'm quite frankly, I'm enjoying this series. It's, it's great to kind of, this is almost like the album of the day pick. But we're a little more focused than that. So uh, stay tuned for more each and every day here. Coming up uh, on the channel, we've got Rankin, our five favorite studio albums, solo albums from Mr. Billy Cobham, drum legend of the jazz fusion and jazz funk realms uh, with Andy Edwards and George Lemay. That's coming up shortly. Uh, we have uh, tomorrow, pretty cool show. We've got Rankin, the albums of Survivor. With the UK connection, Simon Bray and Stephen Reed, I am beyond stoked to get these two gentlemen who have been on the Sea of Tranquility staff for over a decade, uh, but they've never been on the YouTube channel at the same time, same place. So tomorrow we'll, that will happen. So I'm pretty excited about that. So uh, make sure you tune in for that. And uh, we've got to, uh, we have to reschedule the Immortal album ranking. Okay, so that hopefully will happen in about a week. We're still looking to reschedule the ABBA Top 10 Song Show and the Steve Morse Band uh, ranking the album shows with Lynn Versace. So that's all coming up. Just don't have firm dates yet. Uh, if you haven't seen my interview yesterday with Steve Lukather, please do check that out. That was a blast. And uh, we've got coming up uh, Monday, of course, Hudson Valley Squares. We're going to revisit our favorite albums from 1976. Uh, Tuesday in the Prague Seat. We've got uh, Team A and I will be giving you our favorite solo albums from the Big Five. Okay, so you, you know, so our favorite solo records from members of you know, yes, Genesis, Pink Floyd, all the all the usual suspects, right? So uh, stay tuned for that. Um, and then uh, Wednesday is What's Hot with See Tranquility. They got some new releases from Halloween and uh, Wolfgang Van Halen's Mammoth and Sirith Ungol and what else we got here? I think that's probably about it. Oh, uh, Nad Sylvan as well. So you're going to get a few of them on Wednesday. And then next Thursday is, uh, for the Monsters Day, we've got an interesting program coming up where we're going to talk about uh, to remake or not to remake. Uh, you know, we talk about this whole thing in Hollywood where they love to remake films, and we're going to talk about those horror movies that have been remade, those classic horror movies that have been remade that we wish they didn't, uh, as well as the Holy Grail horror films that we hope they don't, as well as some films that we think might benefit from a remake or a reboot. So it should be a pretty interesting uh, discussion coming up next Thursday. And then uh, Martin Popoff and I back in the Funhouse next Friday morning for uh, a show all about, and this has been requested by many of you, about albums that most people don't really like, but we do. <laughs> 
<laughs> so the albums that everybody hates, but for some strange reason, we dig them, right? So uh, that's coming up on Friday. So stay tuned for all that more here on the channel. Make sure you subscribe. If you haven't already, please click on the notification bell so you get alerted of all of our new content. And if you'd like to make a channel donation, the link to the Ko-Fi page is below, the link to our merch page is below as well. We've got new shirts coming out with the new slogans and sayings, all right? So if you can't wait to get uh, a uh, All the Damn Time shirt or uh, I Got the Olds or uh, More Will Than Skill, those are the three that we're putting out. So uh, those will be available on the merch page fairly soon. So uh, stay tuned for that and a uh, hell of a lot more here on the channel. Thanks for watching, everybody. Appreciate it. And uh, we'll see you tomorrow morning with another edition of Classic Album Rewind. And uh, I am Pete Pardo. Have a good weekend, everybody. Bye-bye.